Hey everyone, it's Green Eyed Guide here. I wanted to share with you a portion of the presentation I gave at Cal State Fullerton on caffeine and college exams. In honor of college exams, I have a pop quiz for you all. So assuming you're going to drink the whole product, which of these things do you think has the most caffeine? Shown here is an eight ounce Red Bull and a Grande coffee. The Grande coffee has the most caffeine, which is actually really surprising because of how much attention Red Bull gets in the news. But also surprising is that Red Bull, Buy, and V8 all have about the same amount of caffeine. If we play this game again, comparing Monster, Bang, and a protein drink, it might be surprising to learn that the protein drink actually has more caffeine than the Monster, and the Bang, which is usually marketed as a fitness supplement, has more caffeine than both Monster and this protein drink. So really, it just goes to show you that you might be getting more caffeine than you realize. Do you know which age group consumes the most caffeine? Here's another surprise. It's actually the older folks. Those 50 to 64 consume the most caffeine, more than the people in college. The research group who calculated all this also looked at where each group is getting their caffeine. So for example, a person in a particular age group might get caffeine from several different sources, but where do they get the most caffeine? If we look at those 13 to 17 years old, we see they actually get more caffeine from soda than they do from tea or coffee or energy drinks which hopefully isn't too surprising. 13 to 17 years old is still a little too young to be drinking energy drinks, so it's a good thing that there's only about 10% of that caffeine coming from the energy drinks. But if we look at an older age group, say the 18 to 24 year olds, we see that energy drink consumption is still not a huge source of caffeine. Tea consumption stays about the same, the group drinks a little more coffee and a little less soda. In fact, we see this trend through the rest of the age groups. As people get older, they tend to drink less soda and more coffee. This trend makes me wonder, if energy drinks like Bai and V8 look less like soda, will people drink more of them? I'll let you ponder that one. But let's talk about the benefits of caffeine in general. So regardless where it comes from, caffeine can improve alertness, memory, and focus. This has been proven with people who are notoriously sleep deprived, such as truck drivers, military service men and women, graveyard shift workers, and emergency room personnel. We know that caffeine improves attention, mood, and memory, and that the amount of caffeine needed to improve alertness varies by person. But let's talk about the specifics. So this is a research study that I read and did a review on, on greeneyedguide.com. This study found that caffeine without theanine increases global processing bias, which is your ability to focus on big picture details, and increases your executive control, which is your ability to sort noise from signal. Unfortunately, when caffeine was consumed with theanine, these benefits went away. As the Green-Eyed Guide, it's my goal to help people consume caffeine safely. And these are just some of the news stories that illustrate why safe caffeine consumption is so important and what I do at greeneyedguide.com is so important. Here's how you can join my campaign for safe caffeine consumption. Number one, don't judge people based on what caffeine they're consuming. It may not have as much caffeine as you think. Number two, don't ever mix caffeine and alcohol, period, ever. Number three, don't be predictable. The caffeine you choose should be based on how tired you are, not on habit or tradition. If you remember nothing else, remember that caffeine is like alcohol. You should wait until you're a certain age to drink it. You should know and accept your limits, and you should know how strong your drink is. If you visit greeneyedguide.com, you can learn more about me, about my book, and about what I do. I also have an Instagram channel where you can get a hold of me or send me pictures of your caffeinated beverage. If you don't want to follow me on Instagram, that's cool. I won't take it personally. My dog has an Instagram too, and you can follow her if you like. Big shout out to Peer Health University Network at Cal State Fullerton for having me. It was an honor to come and talk to you all. Thank you all for supporting Green Eyed Guide. Have a wonderful day.